Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. But this video is going to basically show you why you're not you are not supposed to mix calcium with, with phosphate and sulfate. Right? Um, let me just basically tell you what, how you should mix them straight off the bat. So first of all, you need two drums, uh, whatever size drums that you, you, you want. Um, normally 50, 50 gallons, but those are basically 30 gallons. Right? And then you want to mix your um, you can you can basically mix your calcium uh, nitrate and your potassium nitrate in in one tank right just to separate it from phosphate and sulfate and in the other tank you can basically or it, like, like for example if you have a, a, a fertilizer like for example a veg grow which has phosphate um right it has phosphate you can basically mix the veg grow with sulfate so sulfate and phosphate you can mix those in one tank Right, but you have to separate the phosphate and the sulfate from the calcium. Right, so the calcium, the calcium nitrate, which is this one, and the potassium nitrate, which is this one, we're going to mix that in one tank, and the vegetable and the potassium sulfate, we're going to mix in another tank. Now, why do we normally say do not mix calcium with phosphate and sulfate? This is why. Now, as you can see, this water is is blue, so I've just gone ahead and just mix up some just to show you what what will happen this is basically a blue um solution which comes from the the veg grow right there the front one the veg grow um now the reason why we say not to mix calcium with phosphate and sulfate is because look at the hedges it will form precipitate right and fall out of solution now what do i mean by something falling out of solution it's definitely how, how it sounds it just it, it's just not one with the solution anymore so it separates it separates and and and, and um it separates and settle at the bottom so look at this right now look at this now look at look at my hands see that right 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 it basically is a, 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 a it forms precipitate and it falls out of solution so what will happen is and this is basically the sulfate and the phosphate basically falling out of solution right um and along with the calcium as well because they're both um causing a reaction and they're both forming precipitates right so you basically what will happen is if you are measuring an amount of poundage of say for example potassium sulfate and you mix it with with, with calcium um, with calcium you're basically going to find that you're not going to get your desired ppm and you're basically going to get uh, most of your, your 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 potassium sulfate falling out of solution and the plant is going to show deficiency now um, as you can see again right this fell out of solution right and this is what you don't want this is what we're talking about and if i should agitate this right remember how it look originally it looked blue you see this is basically the the nutrients the 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 the, the, the sulfate and the phosphate and the calcium um that basically form precipitate that this this is this is what it looks like when they're, they're basically trying to be one now with the solution but it's not going to be right it's going to fall back out of solution so that is why we say mix them in separate tanks right right so i just want to add in that um initially i told you that i'm going to mix the veg grow um with the potassium sulfate in one tank i've i've gone ahead and done that which is right here i've just done it right but um i just remember that i can also add the the potassium nitrate in it so basically out of all these four fertilizers the veg grow can mix with the potassium sulfate because veg has in phosphorus um, the potassium sulfate as in sulfur so you could mix the veg grow with the potassium sulfate and you can also mix it with the potassium nitrate right so all these three can mix so there is no way that calcium and sulfur and phosphate is mixing here so we can mix these three actually in this one tank since i've put the veg grow and the potassium sulfate in this tank already just for you know uh, balance uh, like weight balance and put it that way i could just put the the calcium nitrate 
um, and the potassium nitrate in this tank, right? So I don't necessarily have to put the veg grow potassium nitrate and the potassium sulfate in one tank, right? So that is what I'm going to do. You can, but I'm just going to balance out the weight. So two fertilizer in one tank and another two in another tank. So here's a moment of truth, right? So I've gone ahead and I've mixed um, 15 gallons of um, concentrated solution, right? So I have two tanks. So this is the result. So this is the, the, the tank that has in the, um, the veg grow and the potassium sulfate. Um, and what I've done is I've allowed it to settle. So as you can see on the top, it's really settled. Um, compared to this one that has in the this one has in the calcium nitrate and the potassium nitrate um, I basically just mix it you can see it's still going around right but we're going to just talk about this one and leave that one to settle so what am I going to do to prove to you that um, this is the right way I'm going to since as it is settled I'm going to dip my hand um, underneath to agitate um, any 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 solids that might be there right none should be there um it should be a homogeneous solution right what i'm going to do is just move away this this kind of um fraud on top just for you to see the color right um so let me do that uh, right so let me get this right here i'm not going to agitate it too much i just want you to see the color right blue right remember the, the first one that i showed you when i mix everything together um um it, it was blue initially but because the sulfate um and phosphate fell out of solution um it was at the bottom so when i agitated it it become white so let me agitate this now first of all let me dip my hands before i agitate it and see what i'll take up look at the water there is no solids no, not all. Look at that. Look at that. Let me agitate it. Now. Right? Let me agitate it. Look at that. The water, the, the solution is not white, right? And there is nothing. It basically, look at that. Crystal clear, right? I'm um, now moving on to this one. Um, there is. Uh, let me move the agitating stick. There is nothing in the bottom. Look. There is nothing settling out. You see? And when I agitate it, it's basically an homogeneous solution, right? There is no solid, nothing at all um, in it. So, this is the correct way, guys. Um, so, I've proved to you that when you mix calcium with phosphate and sulfate, you basically get a real messed up solution, right? Everything, a lot of sediments at the bottom, a lot of precipitates, and all these kind of things. But when you mix your um, phosphate, you can, as I said in this one, I've mixed my phosphate um, and my sulfate together. Therefore, I mix the I mix the veg grow, which is this, and I mix the potassium sulfate, which is this. So veg grow as in um, sulfur, um, as in phosphorus, the, the potassium sulfate as in sulfur. So I mix those two, right? And in the next tank, I mix my calcium nitrate and my potassium nitrate right but as i said earlier you can also mix your potassium nitrate with your phosphates if you want but just don't touch it with the calcium mix the calcium in a separate tank right so um anything else other than 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 phosphorus you can mix with the calcium so yeah so this basically wraps it up and we have done we have i have shown you um what it looks like and i've shown you uh what, well i've shown you what it looks like when you mix everything together um we, as in calcium with phosphate and sulfate and i've shown you what it looks like when we separate them as how they're supposed to separate and you basically get an homogeneous solution in both tanks so with these two tanks now they're basically not going to form any precipitate again when you basically put them um in your final tank right so whether you're going to run an injector system are you going to basically use a gallon bottle to basically take out 0.5 um, gallon of this, 0.5 gallon of this, and you basically get one gallon to put to, to 100 gallons of water, right? So, um, yeah, uh, that's it.